Welcome to the University of Florida Department of Urology. Thank you for viewing this educational program and congratulations on taking an active role in your health care. It is our sincere hope that this program will enhance the discussion between you and your physician regarding your procedure. This presentation is not meant to replace those discussions, but rather to make them more meaningful. This video will provide an overview of urodynamic testing, which you have been scheduled to undergo, and will describe how the testing is done, why it is done, and what you should know prior to your appointment. The information provided is of a general nature, and some details may vary according to your individual test. To understand how urodynamics work and why we perform the test, let us first discuss how urine is handled by the body and how the bladder normally functions. Urine is produced by the kidneys and travels through tubes called the ureters to the bladder. The bladder has two functions, to store and empty urine. Urodynamics helps us better understand how well the bladder is able to perform these functions. In order for the bladder to function properly, three different components must work normally. Number one, the nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, and nerves to the bladder. Number two, the bladder itself. And number three, the sphincter, or the urinary control muscle. The sphincter is a muscle that squeezes around the urethra and is also closely associated with muscles called the pelvic floor muscles. Malfunction in any of these three components can lead to a variety of bladder difficulties. Urodynamics therefore helps us evaluate these three functions. The test has been called an EKG of the bladder and can provide many important clues about the cause of your avoiding symptoms and may help, our, help your physician decide the best form of treatment. The first, leakage of urine, which is also known as incontinence. Other symptoms may include abnormal frequency of urination, or the sensation of having to go to the bathroom all the time, or the sensation of abnormal urgency of urination, in which you may have difficulty holding your bladder in order to get to the toilet on time. Or another symptom known as urinary retention, in which you may have difficulty emptying the bladder. Regardless of which symptom you have, Successfully treating the condition depends on properly determining the precise cause of the problem. Urodynamics thus becomes an invaluable tool in helping provide your physician with key points of information in determining the treatment for your symptoms. Urodynamics is a safe procedure and is associated with minimal amounts of risk. There is a small risk for infection, but drinking plenty of fluids before and after the procedure will help reduce any risk of infection. Now, at time of urodynamics, you'll be taken to a special room with necessary equipment that looks similar to these two machines here. The nurse who's escorting you to the room will provide a detailed explanation of what each of the equipment pieces are. Once you're positioned in your chair, the nurse will place a small catheter or tube into your bladder through which fluid will flow and fill your bladder. There will also be another small catheter placed in your rectum. This is necessary to measure the pressure of your abdomen and to provide those meaningful results. While it might not be pleasant to have these tips placed in you, these catheters should not provide significant amounts of discomfort, and the more you are able to relax during the procedure, the more you'll be able to minimize any discomfort. Once the catheter is in place, the nurse will set up the machine and start filling your bladder with fluid. You will be asked to notify the nurse when you have four specific sensations. The first sensation is when you feel something in your bladder. It can be described as warm or cool or often as a light breeze. Please inform your nurse when you feel this first sensation. The second sensation is a sensation of the need to urinate where you, feel, you may feel that your bladder is partially full and that you might be able to hold urinating a little longer. Please inform your nurse when you feel the second sensation. The third sensation is urgency, or the sensation that you might have to go to the bathroom soon. If you were driving, this would be the point where you would take the next exit. Please inform your nurse of the third sensation. The fourth sensation is an emergency. 
this would be the sensation where you have to pull the car over to the side of the road because you must go to the bathroom immediately. When you reach this emergency, the nurse will have you cough to see if there's any leakage. Finally, the nurse will ask you to urinate. Your catheter is small enough for you to urinate around and through. At the end of the test, your bladder will be drained with the catheter to see how well it's emptied. With this information, our team will put together information about your bladder and interpret its results. Interpretation of these results may take several weeks. You can expect the test to take anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes. Remember, everyone's bladder is different, and the length of the procedure does not indicate whether the results are good or bad. The more relaxed you are, the closer you follow the directions to the nurse, the better the results will be. If the procedure is complete, please fill out the short survey to help us better educate our patients in the future. Thank you for, for your participation, and please do not hesitate to ask your physician or nurse any questions you may have. Thank you again, and welcome to the University of Florida Department of Urology.